Hello everyone, this is Katerina and I'll bring you the Lunar Eclipse 1111 update together with Light Codes. And oh my god, I'm so, so tremendously relieved, relieved that today is finally the Lunar Eclipse. And the Lunar Eclipse today in Taurus is really bringing the energy of lightness, lighter, brighter energy grounding, settling and we are also ramping up towards the 11-11 so it feels like we're finding our feet again. I definitely felt in the last couple of weeks was like Bambi on ice. My god, that solar eclipse in Scorpio held this intense long shadow and this deep, deep purge. And every time when we are going through those deep purges, releases, is because we are making way for the new. We were invited to release old concepts because now with today and the 1111, this is really where the future energy is reaching you, where your guides are like, oh my God, so where do you want to go? And when I asked my guides, so what is the 1111 about? And they said, it's like a cosmic board meeting. And I said, wow, I've never heard you say that before. And they are saying, because we are becoming multidimensional, our energies overall are increasing and rising. That means... Um, even if you're not consciously aware of it on a higher level, you are far more in tune with your multidimensional aspects. And that means with your galactic brothers and sisters or what it feels like a brother and sister, other versions in other realms. And that means our voices are now also more heard in um, galactic council meetings, in um, scenarios where we are deciding about the future of Earth. And I was really, really excited to get confirmation. Um, I don't know if some of you may know about Nostradamus and his predictions for the world and that he saw three very distinct timelines. One, we blow up the planet. One, we have to leave because it's not really going well. And another one where we may leave the planet as well as um, staying on Earth and life on Earth continues and we are growing together. And that would be the highest timeline. And now through um, dreams and visions and my best friend as well got the same confirmation. We are on the timeline now that is definitely not having any of the <laughs> two other versions involved and I know Dolores Cannon worked very actively together with Nostradamus over a long period of time and now we've really gone past the marker into the light so what we're now doing is we're anchoring higher and higher light but it's not a question of existence or non-existence that question is out of the window thanks god so we're now definitely deciding how exciting is it gonna to be going to be and as part of that we have those board meetings and the 11 11 this year is a portal of a magnitude i've never ever seen before it's so bright it's so beautiful and again that's the invitation the more you dare to let go of the old the more you are allowed to receive so yesterday my guys really spurred me on to do a massive declutter in the house and i filled my entire bin and half the one of my neighbor with her permission so i felt like oh my god i i couldn't even relate to some of the items that i had and it's like why on earth did i keep this and that's always a good sign because you feel oh wow you've outgrown it you're not kind of hanging on to it anymore I also was really strongly guided and I share that with you because you may get similar guidance to get new plants, crystals, tools, item, new artwork where you feel like that's helping to bring in these higher energies. And galactics that are really prevalent at the moment are the Arcturian, the Pleiadian and the Syrian and of course your own soul group and where you're coming from, so your own soul connections. And on Friday the 11.11 my guide said we really journey through various constellations that are imprinted in your DNA so you meet your different parts of your soul and family, your aspects of your multidimensionality. Then we work with the cosmic fire that will definitely cleanse, purify and raise your frequencies so you can receive the maximum benefit from the 1111 gateway and then we also will receive um, celestial sound chamber activation and they were speaking to me about celestial sounds over and over and I said to my guides 
any more insights on that? And they're like, Katarina, it's quite logical, isn't it? Um, codes can be transmitted through sound as well as through light. So light codes, of course, when you look in the sun um, and especially on reflections on water, you see those codes in like different frequencies. You also have the same with moonlight and starlight. And um, I will share about more, more about that, how that impacts also our oceanic life and how different we can utilize these frequencies. And the other version is beside light is sound. So sometimes you feel like high pitched sounds in your ears. Like, oh, what's that? And it's not a radio. It's not your fridge. It's literally you hear higher frequencies. And that's when the codes are transmitted in sound. And now since this eclipse season, we um, no, I'm just listening in. So what happened is the reason why I'm getting so um, aware of it is because we are now reaching in deeper into space and receive higher octaves of sound light activation. And um, so it's almost like the Syrian Pleiadian, our galactic brothers and sisters, as well as the celestial bodies are now able to reach us more and are transmitting frequencies and they are elevating us and sparking our DNA even further. So that's that celestial sound chamber activation that we're going to experience on Friday. And then we're also, um, and that will activate your Akash. So your past and future incarnations, you know, at, in the end, it's all happening now. But for us human timeline earthbound at the moment, that's still like past mastery, future excitement, all meeting and being activated. Um, and then we also, and that is a fairly new, we receive our avatar codes. Um, and I will share about this more on Friday as well. So I'm really, really excited because that's a whole other level of mastery that's coming online for all of us now that we are able to reach through this 1111 gateway. So I'm really, really excited about that. And um, if you feel like you were having um, your mind fog or you're clearing in your person, and you're like, oh my God, is this ever going to end? Really rest assured the energy with the lunar eclipse and the 1111 is really strongly elevating, rejuvenating. It's um, basking in sunlight, starlight, moonlight, and in these celestial sounds. So it's really bringing a huge upliftment, especially for all those forerunners, way showers, star seeds. The star seeds are super activated at the moment. Then we have old souled star seeds, that's star seeded beings that then stayed on Earth. And these are often wisdom keepers, guides, teachers, you know, those those of you resonating with this message and then um the beings that are really strong for us are Lady Venus, really, really powerful, Lady Isis, um, the Galactics node. It's really that um, they're showing me it's almost like <laughs> we're having a trip on a spaceship there saying it's like, you know, you um, go beyond human gravity and then you're out in space and then you can experience and receive all of this. So you will travel in your astral body, in your light body. And our light bodies are um, at the moment extremely expanded. And so if you have physical symptoms like the mind fog, um, that's part of the detox or your sinuses, your throat ringing in your ears, other experiences heart openings. Um, I mean, for me, the Kundalini energy is going through the roof for quite some time. Um, and okay, th they're also saying the 33 vertebras are being absolutely magnified. And that's also going to happen on Friday. Things I need to take note of that. So I incorporate it consciously. And um, the 33 vertebras, it's almost like they're showing me it's like an octave. It's also um, an activation sequence they're going to do on Friday. Um, that All right. And that has to do with the avatar codes. All right. Thanks. <laughs> You know, I'm always happy to learn, um, so I will take notes for that on Friday and I'm sure I download more information about it for Friday as well. Um, and they're also saying with that in the 33 vertebra, it's also the abundance codes are stored in it and also the new higher living codes for the new earth. My cat might just walk through the camera now. Thanks, honey. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's another point. Um, on Friday, in preparation, I was in one of the major stone circles in the Lake District. And um, I, I worked and loads of celestial energies were coming in and I opened a portal and whatnot. And then there was this um, collie, super sweet, chasing and giving me his ball. And we played around the stone circle and it was so interesting. The animals really do reach out. And um, the energy of that joy and lightness and the interconnectedness that is also part of that new living in the new earth is we are linked with all beings on earth as well as linked with our galactic brothers and sisters or you could say with your own versions of your multidimensional self. So now Karina, let's do some light language. I'm on such a roll so I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Um, Niwiashkana sama niwayu iwashki kisi si na na ma iya kakana na masa niashki ki sa iya kikina na maha miwana na masa miwana na masa niashki isa sana ma niashki isa sana na maha Niwa ka ashka kana. Ia ki ki si 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 ashk 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 ashk. Kia ka sa na ma niya ki ki iwan na na ma sa. Iwan na ma sa kia ka ka na sa. Kia ka ka sa sa na na ma ha. were the Arcturians and they're saying the Arcturian frequencies will merge with the um, with Venus the moon as well as the Pleiades and they have that energetic synergy that really brings that expansiveness of that energy oh I'm still a bit taken aback by it oh sorry um and they also will help with the 33 vertebra activation the avatar consciousness and it's like um a cosmic spark they're saying and that's why i'm guided to work with the cosmic fire as well they're saying that's really sparking our dna and light codes tremendously and then in the beginning it was lady venus speaking about that this lunar eclipse also helps the divine feminine really tapping into her essential gentle intuitive um, energies to allow those psychic senses for all of us the divine inner feminine for both male and female our psychic senses to increase and work with that and um, the Pleiadians were there it's like oh my god I, we can't wait for that broad meeting you know we really want to consciously co-create with you and then we have the whales and dolphins the seals as well to help us activate those codes within the waters in our own body as well as around the earth so i hope this has been helpful to you may you have a wonderful lunar eclipse and i most welcome you on friday for the 11 11 portal and let's see what fun magic and miracles we co-create together bright blessings and namaste to you